reachliberty.org. It's up and running! An early sketch, a flyable sketch, of the video game Free State. What you see here is thanks to the efforts of an unnecessarily humble programmer whose name I will have trouble pronouncing probably because he and I haven't talked yet. We've just swapped email, but I think it's Errol Pelshut. Errol Pelshut.com at least is his URL. I'm not positive that's even his last name, but I can still sing a song about him. Errol Pelshut.com. I don't pronounce his name as good as his mom. Anyway, he's busily updating and upgrading this initial sketch. But it's just, I'm so pumped to actually see something that kind of matches my original idea for the prototype. And he is much thanked. The idea ultimately is to have a hard science fiction multiplayer online game that's set in 2060 Nashville. Some of you may remember the video series I did about this in 2012, outlining the ultimate goal. But for now, we have to concentrate on the doable. And right now, what we can do is build a game that is very unique, even if it's very simple. Even the early prototype should be pretty much the only game out there where you can fly you know, a little arcade ship around and shoot out the side. I'm not saying it's never happened or never will happen, but I can't find a game like this. It's significant, significant because it will completely change the way combat takes place. I believe it will make combat much more fulfilling, satisfying. you got to trust me on this. But there are other things right off the bat that I think should probably be unique. Uh, one of them will be that I'm going to try and set the game up so that you don't have to, you don't have, to have a large player base is what I'm trying to say. There could be just one person playing the game, and you could still have a lot of fun, even if you're by yourself in there. If another person logs on, maybe on the other team, it gets a little bit funner until it's really fun with a lot of people. But you don't need to have a lot. You can jump right in there and have fun by yourself if there's no one on. And initially, there will be no one on because it's going to be a new game. <laughs> Kind of what I imagine it might sound like. All right, maybe we should just dub in sounds of me saying, bang, uh, bang, boom, swish. <laughs> every, every, every time you fired your broadside, it would say swish, 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 or bang, bang, bang. I don't know. Actually, we'll probably use real sounds. But... Dada Orwell might make an appearance. I'm Dada Orwell. Also, pretty much right off the bat, um, this game is going to be designed so that you should be able to have a lot of fun with it even if you really suck. <laughs> or if you're really good. But uh, the idea is, like, say, even a person who doesn't even have the use of their hands should be able to come in and play the game if they have a little bit of modification on their computer. I'm trying to... I'm experimenting already with this this uh, flyable sketch. What could I do with this game if all I was using was one finger, right? I mean, could I fly it with one finger? And I can. Later on, we'll add things for players to do that do not require a lot of dexterity. And hopefully by later on, I mean pretty soon. For example, what I'm hoping is that pretty early on we'll have... Uh, well, let me go back a little bit more to the beginning. The, the initial prototype is going to be set up so that Everybody can fly one of these drones. They all shoot out the side rather than the front. They tend to move a bit slowly compared to a lot of games because even a very slow-moving game really does require, or at least it wants, you to be fast in your reflexes. Most games just have things that are moving around so fast that there's no... It's just chaos, absolute chaos. This is supposed to mix chaos with strategy a little bit give your brain a little bit of a chance to process what's going on. And again, if you've got a problem where you have slow reflexes or you're disabled or something along those lines, 
you'll have a role pretty early on. But this early part is just, you know, drones fighting drones. Well, pretty quickly what we'll do is set it up so that you've got a strategic target too. And the strategic target is where it's, it's, it's an easy thing to hit. Uh, and it's also, you know, that's the place where you can have fun even if you're by yourself because you're damaging the enemy's strategic stuff because they're not on. It's also the place where bad players or people with physical disabilities can be accommodated because you can go in and you can hit these things that are relatively easy to hit, not very well defended. Alternatively, you can hang out close to one of your friendly um, strategic targets and harass the enemy who's coming after them. Since you should be able to repair at your, uh, at your own strategic bases and so forth, this will give you a place to be if you're a weak player. So again, I, of course I'm talking a lot about weak players and so forth. There, there's also going to be a place for very strong players in the game, and that would be more offensive, taking on other uh, human players. There'll be a definite place for them too, always is. You know how I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the state house and you swing your fist, you hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the state house full of liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the state house from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. And they've had quite a bit of legislative success, too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, and hope you will be, too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org.